Kenya's medical tourism sector is gradually developing and acts as a hub for patients seeking treatment from across East Africa. Both the government and private hospitals have been investing significantly to improve their facilities and buy specialized equipment and the quality of treatment is increasing each year. One of our, apart from multifactorial or multifocus in medical science, the visionary, our president, current president, Excellency William Ruto, uh, he wants to achieve the high-end medicine to be practiced to be in 4A to each and every, to one and citizens of Kenya with affordability, accessibility, acceptability and availability. So the great vision of our great president uh, will be known one day as father of health in Africa. And when it comes to matters concerning medical attention to a majority of Kenyans, India is the place to go. This has largely been fueled by lack of advanced medical facilities and equipment in Kenyan hospitals. We are doing diversity of the all interventions and the surgery. Whatsoever available in Western world or in India, we are trying to bring here. Sir has developed so much uh, infrastructure and uh, he has provided uh, expert staff and the doctors. And we are helping uh, Kenyan people to uh, prevent their heart disease and if happens and uh, how to treat them with well and good quality care with affordable price. And even when the equipment are available, patients are kept on the waiting list for too long. Some even die while still waiting for their day to be seen by a doctor. No compromise with the expertise. No compromise with the infrastructure, equipment, instruments disposable surgicals, devices, prosthetics, and medicines. There is no compromise with the human support staff. Then only you make a department eminent. However, the cards are quickly changing. Kenya is quickly becoming a medical tourism destination. Our Kenyans going outside the cross-border for treatment, you will see very minimum. And inflow, how many patients are coming inside. So that is the way we can make our country very, very uh, great nation for the adequacy uh, in both quality and quantitative and qualitative healthcare. Accessibility of the healthcare uh, in Kenya, definitely uh, now all kind of the operations, all kind of diagnostic treatments and the diagnosis is now available in Kenya. We paid a visit at the Medihill Hospital here in Kenya, Nairobi. Advanced medical facilities and equipment, qualified and skilled doctors are a proof that Kenyans no longer have to organize fundraisers for their loved ones to travel to India for treatment. We have uh, trained nearly 15 years in the cardiology in India. Uh, he is also trained nearly 15 years in uh, surgery. So, and that much of patients, uh, yearly we are seeing more than 4,000, 5,000 patients. That makes difference, but definitely uh, over a period we are planning to give the education in uh, Medihill also. We are trying to give the trainings to uh, those who are new doctors so that they will also become expert and the health system and the cardiac health care will improve in Kenya. I was operating in India for last uh, 16 years and uh, joined this hospital just because of this man sitting here. His vision was uh, to uh, provide quality health care, quality cardiac surgery care, uh, not only in Nairobi, not only in Kenya, but all the African countries. He wants to bring the uh, African patients uh, apart from Kenya also to this hospital and to Nairobi basically. He wants to increase the medical tourism. The number of patients they have treated in the past year is enough to say Kenya is ready to be East and Central Africa's medical tourism destination and soon to the world. We have treated uh, two patients from Israel, uh, two patients from the Ethiopia. We have uh, 
treated one Sierra Leone patient, some from the Congo. So definitely it's a very bright future for the Nairobi or Kenya for the medical tourism. And uh, we are planning to provide health care and cardiac care nearly for East, not only East Africa but a whole African continent. And many may ask, what is the cost of treatment here? And uh, especially in Medial, if you consider it's quite affordable, it's nearly one third of other hospitals cost what we are providing the cardiac care. And now they are calling on Kenyans who need medical attention not to worry but try them out and be able to save on costs and save their lives. Half of the people will don't know that cardiac care is available in Medihill also. Because until and unless we are not making awareness and the availability, definitely people will stay here and they will do get treatment here. Because going at alien place, alien culture, alien food and treating there, they will not that comfortable. If they are getting this treatment here in uh, same country at home with their family, definitely they recover fast and uh, they will save money also. Gokul Prem Kumar, Vice President Business Relations at the Medihill Hospital says cardiovascular diseases represent 32% of all global deaths and are on the rise, especially sudden cardiac deaths, meaning there is a greater need for prevention medicine patient education and awareness. So far, Medihill is serving the patients from all over sub-Saharan African countries, with 50 of the medical tourists coming from Sierra Leone, DRC Congo, Brazzaville, CAR, Uganda, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Somalia, Tanzania, Burundi, Malawi and South Sudan in the last one year. Roby Omondi K24 Newscut.